A major ocean current may be hurtling towards collapse. Yes, it's true. A shutdown or slowdown of the thermohaline circulation is a hypothesized effect of global warming on major ocean circulation. A 2015 study suggested the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, has weakened by up to 20% in the last 200 years and is accelerating. And that leads to, well, unfortunately, the day after tomorrow. Keep calm. It's boom time. Record high Arctic fresh water will flow to the Labrador Sea, affecting local and global oceans. And that's what many scientists are worried about. At the same time in the Southern Hemisphere, West Antarctica's Getz glaciers, well, it's flowing faster. And there's more melting than ever before in Antarctica. What is causing all this? Well, first, we need to look no further than the Earth's magnetosphere, our protective sheath that protects us from all the cosmic radiation from the sun and from the outside galaxy, our universe in general. Now, what we know about the magnetosphere is it actually dumps energy into the poles around the aurora belts in the north and southern regions, which... As the magnetosphere wanes, more radiation, more energy enters the poles, and that heats the subsurface. Now, what part of the Earth is it heating? Is anyone's guess, but it's my supposition that the entire Earth is growing. It is creating matter in that core mantle boundary region, and that leads to crustal swelling and huge fissures and lava flows during these times. And we're seeing this in scientific discoveries over the last decade. Scientists discovered 91 volcanoes beneath the Antarctic ice sheet three years ago, in addition to the 47 already known, bringing the total number of volcanoes below the ice sheet to 138, many of which are currently erupting. Volcanoes erupting beneath ice sheets cause unprecedented melting. And a newly discovered Greenland plume drives thermal activities in the Arctic. A team of researchers in December of 2020 wrote about more melting of the Greenland ice sheet. They discovered a flow of hot rocks known as a mantle plume rising from the core mantle boundary beneath central Greenland that melts the ice from below. So is it your fault? Well, that's the way the media is spinning it, but we've just showed you that the earth itself is heating up from the ground up. And now we're worried and headlines are everywhere about a major ocean current hurtling towards collapse, the AMOC, which is also known as the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream system is at its weakest in over a millennia. Never before in over 1,000 years has the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, AMOC, also known as the Gulf Stream system, has it been as weak as it has in the last decades? Researchers compiled proxy data, researching back hundreds of years to reconstruct the AMOC's flow history, and they found consistent evidence that its slowdown in the 20th century is unprecedented. Huh. That sounds pretty important. Well, what does that mean? Why is the AMOC slowing down? Well, first, let's cover that. The reason it's slowing down is more fresh water in the thermohaline uh, circulation system. That fresh water has a different density than salt water, and it literally shuts down these flow systems. What does that mean for humanity? Well, the consequences of the AMOC slowdown could be manifold for people living on both sides of the Atlantic, as Levki Caesar, the scientist, explains. The northward surface flow of the AMOC leads to a deflection of water masses to the right away from the U.S. east coast. This is due to the Earth's rotation that diverts moving objects, such as currents, to the right of the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. As the current slows down, this effect weakens and more water can pile up at the east coast, leading to enhanced sea level rise on the east coast in Europe, a further slowdown of the AMOC could imply more extreme weather events like a change of the winter storm track coming off the Atlantic, possibly intensifying them, leading to a mini ice age in most of Europe. And that could happen overnight. There is a chance the North Atlantic current will shut down temporarily at any time now, 
according to many people. This is basically how it works. You have the red line, the present stage, it reaches a tipping point and then it collapses. And then you're in the collapse state where the circulation strength is at almost near zero. Now this has happened before and it's been studied in the Holocene, the eight kilo year event, cause and consequences of a major Holocene abrupt climate change. This abrupt major Holocene climate change was due to uh, an outwashing of huge amounts of ice into the North Atlantic. A very large outburst flood that freshened the North Atlantic caused the AMOC to shut down 8,000 years ago. And, and this is the 8,600 year event where the fresh water was let out and you can see a 0.34 degree drop in proxy temperature here leading to the 8.2 kilo year cooling event. Uh, one of the largest cooling events in the Holocene other than some of the dark age drop-offs that we're more aware about, like the Little Ice Age. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, we unfortunately happen to be at a very critical time in the glacial cycle. About 12,000 years ago, we were in an event here called the Younger Dryas event, and it led to rapid deglaciation and warming on Earth. Now, since then, we've been in an interglacial for about 12,500 years. So that puts us right about here at glacial inception. Now, this graph we're looking at is based on the last five Milankovitch cycles, the last five great years that we have endured on Earth. The last five of them are all laid on top of each other here, giving you an optimum picture of what is happening in our future. And we are here on the flexure point of glacial inception. It doesn't look that bad here. It shows that glaciation happens for thousands of years, but that's not necessarily how it happens. You see these larger drop downs, it can rapidly happen within the pattern. We are at glacial inception, which means ice age for at least another 12,500 years until we come back out of it. That's based on all of the proxy data from ice cores laid over each other to give you an idea where we're sitting. We're sitting at the ne next glacial inception currently. Now, what does that mean for you and I? It means we are entering the next ice phase of the ice age we're living. The interglacial is over. The next glacial period is now currently ongoing. And the shutdown of the AMOC will only rapidly intensify this glaciation. So those are the facts. And that is our future. Now, for most of us, we're only going to live a few more decades. So it will be interesting to see how this rolls out. It's not going to be suddenly glaciated everywhere. But we will see an uptick in, in the strangest weather patterns, especially if we can then have confirmation the AMOC is now shutting down. What happens over in Europe and Great Britain and all those regions? Well, we will be reporting on them as long as the satellites stay up. Because, after all, we are in a magnetic reversal and anything can happen. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In the grand solar minimum and magnetic reversal, you're living, which also happens to be the next glaciation or ice age. However you want to look at it, and that is a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Leave me some questions below. I will answer them. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, people that share these videos. You are all heroes. And we love you. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge and be safe.